Wasn't I just up here? <laughs> No big deal, you guys. I was actually, uh, you, I know you're very impressed with what you see up here. I was actually voted uh, most likely to succeed in my high school. In a class of 32 in rural North Dakota. But my classmates didn't know about me, but they didn't know because I was literally the only one not born and raised there. Uh, what they didn't know is that in first grade, when my teacher asked me, Ben, what do you want to be when you grow up? I had said, well, I'd like to be a police officer. Mm. What you just like? What you just like? Ben, that's adorable. Why you want to be a police officer? And with my first grade brain, I said, because they don't die. Which <laughs> is like, no, Ben, honey, cops die all the time. I was like, never mind. I'd like to be a firefighter, thank you. <laughs> She's like, that's, that's worse. And I, was, I was like, then I, I would like to be nothing. I don't get the point of having a job if I don't get to be immortal. I don't want to be anything. Then I was elected most likely to succeed. Now I'm 41 years old. I do stand-up comedy. Every month make 30 or 40 bucks, get three or four free beers. And uh, all of my classmates still live in North Dakota, so I win. I'm the very most successful. Yeah, but uh, living in California, you can't uh, live on that kind of money, so I have one of those, uh, those uh, day jobs. Anybody got uh, one of those day jobs? Yeah, I, uh, I fucking hate it. Uh, <laughs> who here hates their jobs? Wednesday night crowd, of course you hate your jobs. Get away from it. I hate my job. I hate my job. My very favorite thing to do at work is to complain about work. But every time you do that, I saw some asshole who pops in like, hey man, you should be happy you have a job. That guy, he does not understand how happiness works. I'm like, nah man, you don't get it. I'm gonna drink myself to sleep. For the nightmares, we're gonna have a comeback here in the morning. This job's terrible. But I want to say about the job, you guys, one nice thing about my job, it actually pays pretty well. It actually pays so well, in fact, I recently bought a Prius. Don't get, it's a used Prius, don't get too excited, it's a used Prius. And I bought it, not because I care, but because I do stand-up comedy. And like I just told you, not a whole lot of money there. So I gotta cut corners wherever I can. But I feel like I'm gonna meet the girl of my accident, or my, about my accident, Jesus Christ. Uh, in a Prius, here we go. Uh, the girl of my dreams on accident, because I got this Prius. She's gonna see me in these streets like, oh damn, that guy drives a Prius? That guy cares about the environment. That's very attractive to me. Oh shit, is that a youth Prius? He's financially responsible. He paid exactly what it's worth. <laughs> that man lost no money for a lot. This is impressive. You know what? We're getting married, have a house and kids, and it's gonna be great. You guys, I'm gonna fall in love with her too. And we are gonna get married. I'm gonna get down on one knee and be like, babe, before it was you and me, it was just me. <laughs> then it was me and this car. But baby, that was pre-us. I know, that's a long way to go for a shitty Prius pun, you guys. Uh, I agree. Uh, had to get hypothetically ready for that joke. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every time it's going to happen. This girl's going to see me in these streets. She's going to be like, oh, damn, we drive some Prius. We got the whole story already. But I think it's going to happen. And we're going to fall in love. We're going to meet this woman. We're going to fall in love. We're going to get married. We're going to buy this house. We're going to have those children. Like, we're going to have so many kids. It's going to be like when you see a Mormon family in the grocery store. You're like, damn, dude, leave that girl alone. It's going to be me. It's going to be me you're talking to. 
I don't think you guys understand. We're going to have so many kids. We're going to make additions to that house we bought. We are going to have to chop down all the trees in all the forests in the world to build this house. We will buy a fleet of minivans and we shall use up all the oil in the world. And we're going to eat all the food, you guys. You don't get to eat. You don't get to eat. Your friends and family don't get to eat. Everyone you love and adore will be dead because my family's got to eat. Because I didn't buy this Prius for the environment. I bought it for comedy. Which, by the way, I would no longer do in this scenario because when you're in love, you don't get to have dreams anymore. <laughs> Just going to go back to my shitty day job. I was going to do the best part of my day and get away from these monsters for a few hours. I'm going to hear somebody at work complaining about work. I'm just going to bug her. They're like, hey, man, you should be happy you have a job. <laughs> going to be the best. Uh, that's a fun joke. It actually uh, worked out. The priest didn't impress the woman, uh, but the priest joke did. <laughs> so I am a, a new dad. Hell yeah, it's dope. I'm one of those, I'm a new dad, I'm one of those, uh, those cool dads, one of those new modern dads. You guys seen these ones where uh, like, I know my kid's name and, uh, and, say, and tell her I love her? You know, one of these new modern dads, you know? I do a lot of stuff. I change the diapers, I wake her up, I put her to bed, I, give her, I do her hair, feed her, do all the laundry, clean the house, I do everything. I'm one of those new modern dads where some would say, a cuck? <laughs> I do it, and I like take my kid out, and my kid, uh, spoiler, biracial, you, know, you didn't see it in me, right, but it happened. Uh, and a lot of people will stop me, and uh, they'll be like, hey, man, can I talk to you about adoption? And I'm like, this <laughs> is mine. This is still legal for now, that's why I did it. Time was running out, you know? Uh, but I love it, man, I go out, hey, thank you, thank you, I'm very smart. Uh, <laughs> But I did it, and uh, I go out a lot, and um, it's very strange because as a, a girl dad, people find it very weird that I go out without her mother, out in public, and they always think that, oh, a dad is out with their kid, so they assume my daughter is a boy. Because what dad would go out with a girl, right? That's insane, some people. So that's a, that's a very handsome boy you have. I'm like, first of all, it's a girl, and she's beautiful. Do that. Also, just so you are, I know you're looking at me, you're like, sure, whatever. I want you to know, everybody says, hey, I have a beautiful kid, right? You see that all the time, you get, oh, look at my kid, she's so cute, right? I want you to know, when I show people pictures of my kid, this is their reaction. Oh, shit! <laughs> she's a fucking beautiful girl. <laughs> but people still are like, it's a handsome point. I'm like, okay, let's talk about it. 52% of the earth is female. You should assume any baby you don't know is a girl. Also, beautiful boy, works great. Handsome girl, insult. So just that the beautiful girl you have there, and then they'll correct you, right? You can just play the odds. Just play the odds, the beautiful girl the first time you see a baby, right? It's like when you meet a police officer for the first time and you shake their hand, and you go, hey, is this your wife beating hand? Because chances are it is. You just play the odds when you meet a new person, okay? All right, I have to get out of here, but um, uh, tomorrow is a weird day, and so I think the world's kind of falling apart around us. Uh, so I, I'm an idea, man. Uh, so what I want you guys to do tomorrow, uh, 4th of July, you know the song Born on the 4th of July or the movie or whatever? Tomorrow, porn on the 4th of July. <laughs> What you do is you find a porn star on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and then you find a post they've made, and you tag your representative and tell them how they fucked you this year. Right? <laughs> porn on the 4th of July. Let's do it. Uh, you guys, that's my time. Thank you so much. I'll get done right. Have a good night.